Hello everybody, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 100 100-151 BD This one, the power button is a little bit wood As you can see, this is right hand side, right there So most of the time when you push it in And mistakenly, if you push it too hard It's going to break in that way Okay, as you can see So this is the one we're going to fix it today it's a kind of DIY job. So what you have to do first, make sure your laptop is turned off and you need to take out all the screw. We need to get access inside to check physically how much damage it is and then we would see what we need to be done due to fix it. So first we're going to take out all the screw. This battery wouldn't come out until you open up this part, okay? So let's take out all the screws that we can see. I'm going to start from here. So from here I can see the actual power button came off from this part which is from right there okay the button itself is fine I mean the actual switch is okay that's the actual switch but the plastic bit came off okay so we have to fix it kind of DIY style first we need to check if this is functional anymore or not Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so can you see that it moves? After a while later, it moves. So what you can do... Yeah, it moves. So let's take out the motherboard and check how you can put it back nicely. Clearly we can see what was wrong with the actual power button. This is kind of broken. Very fine plastic bit. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. So now if I put any sort of super glue, it's going to block this bit, okay? It would be very firm and you can press. It would not be flexible to push the button, okay? So that's the reason why I choose that one, hot glue gun, 
I'm going to put just a little bit in there just to block this area and then I'll put this one in right here just to stick it together and then it's going to be a little bit flexible okay and without any issue it's going to work properly so let's check if it, this is warm or not yeah can you see this Now I'm going to put this one. Okay, so it seems to stick. Now I'm going to put a little bit more. So power button will not push it back that way. And it's going to be completely flexible. Good. And we're going to check if there is any obstacle or anything. Make sure the flexes are out. seems everything into the place but I'm not going to try it now because if I try it's going to break so let's assemble the motherboard again That's fine now. Finally, we're going to test it by powering up. As you can see, the position is absolutely fine. There is no any uh, defect. And I don't know if there is any charge, but let's check it out. We're going to check this out if the power button does work. So I'm going to press, and it seems the light is coming on. Yeah. So the repair was quite easy, it took a little bit of time, there are a lot of jobs we had to do, need to take the laptop apart. The actual job was very tiny and very short time needed to fix it, it's like a couple of seconds, but to get into the point we had to take out the computer, every single component. So that's what happened normally, that's why the normal user they get worried like hey what's going to be happen if i do that but if any mid-range kinds of or basic laptop yes there are a lot of opportunity to fix it sometimes the ex expensive compact laptops they are very difficult to take apart 
or disassemble it. But the actual cheap one are much more easier. They're easy to get the part and stuff like that. So if you have any sort of laptop similar to IdeaPad 100 or Dell Latitude, similar to that, it's easy to do the repair. So thank you so much for watching, guys. But still, if you do have any question regarding this power switch repair, Dell uh, Lenovo IdeaPad 100, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply. Thank you so much again. Bye for now.